Randall Man here. All right, so I have something that's kind of perplexing, a little bit crazy. All right, so there's been a lot of different things going on in this world. Our world is changing. It is crazy. Um, growing up, you know, you would have someone that was homosexual, and it was very seldom that you had anyone really that identified as anything other than heterosexual. You had just just a few, right? Most of it was because people were scared to come out, um, even if they were. But you, for the most part, you could tell um, in their preference. But there were always those that you could not, right? So as things have changed, though, you know, you start seeing more and more TV showing uh, homosexuals, people that are, I mean, it's it's gone crazy as far as like you had heterosexual and homosexual. Now it's like you have binary, non-binary, cis, all, all kinds of crazy stuff, right? That I don't even quite understand. I just know I saw an article earlier and it was talking about there's a study done from 27 different countries, ages 16 or 18, um, that they were talking on, on that le on that age group, um, you know, you had Generation Z and then the generation right above them. So the generation right above Generation Z, um, which, you know, the millennials and everything, they're talking about that 9% of them were uh, identifying as something other than heterosexual. And then Generation Z... This is where the 16 to 18 years and stuff came into play. Is also they're talking about one in five or 18 percent, but one in five uh, young people are identifying as something other than heterosexual. Than heterosexual. So what I think is happening. This is my opinion, um, and it's actually a good opinion. But I, that's just me saying that. But um, is the because you see more and more of this, people saying, you know, you, even people that think they want to be trans and they're at, the, at a young age, then they change their mind and they don't want to be. And, and all the there's so much confusion. I think there's a lot of different confusion going on, and I don't know what to make of it. I just know that our youth right now are at, at a stage. Anytime you're going through youth, they're already at a stage in their life that is troubling. They're confused already. Their, their bodies are experiencing all these different hormones and, and changes like that. Puberty, I mean, just so many different things that most teenagers don't really know what they want until they're older. And for one out of five of our young people to think they're other than heterosexual shows me a lot of what we are doing as a country, as a world, to our young people. By making things, I mean, we just didn't talk about certain things as, as, when we were growing up, and you knew what what was expected of you. Not necessarily that you had you were making a bad decision or a wrong decision, but that decision was made off of guidance. And I just feel like we have a lot less guidance, and the things guiding our children right now are TikTok and YouTube and Twitter, any of the social media, everything you can think of, and then you have crazy things coming across TV that we let allow our kids to watch. And it was like, when I was a kid, my mom didn't let me watch all kinds of stuff. Like, she's like, oh, you're not watching that. And I thought it was like, oh, that's so mean. But let's be honest, if I was left to my own devices, who knows how I would have turned out. My mom did a good job of just keeping me on the straight and narrow, making, making sure I did all the things I was supposed to do. After I get old enough and I start making my own choices, those choices are on me, not on her. But they did a great job. My mom and dad did a great job of just directing us. And I think that that's where we've fallen apart. We have a lot lot less marriages lasting, a lot uh, lot more single parent uh, homes, um, and just people that don't know how to raise kids anymore, but they're still having them. And I just feel like a lot of that is the issue. But, and it's, it's nothing for me it's not it's not affecting me um if, if someone wants to choose a homosexual lifestyle but all these crazy genders there's a male and a female all these crazy genders and then the fact that kids are confused so they don't even know what they really want um that now one out of five think they might be homosexual or not heterosexual that's a problem 
because that is that is something that society has made it into a fad more than it is into a choice. It's a fad. It's like you're choosing to do this because of why. People say all the time, well, it's not a choice. Oh, it is a choice. It's not like everybody's born, I was born gay. Okay, great. Um, God already talks about that, um, you know, homosexual, homosexuality is a sin. It talks about, you know, in Sodom and Gomorrah when the men were sleeping with men and that kind of thing, and he destroyed those cities. Here's what I'm telling you. If that's a sin, God doesn't create some a sin just for... He's not like, you know what, I'm going to create someone that is homosexual. No, that's a choice. And you're going to disagree with me, some of y'all will, and that's okay. That is your choice. But for us right now to have one out of five people thinking they are gay or other than heterosexual, then that's a real problem, in my opinion. So, I, I, I don't know what to do with this. Information is just crazy for me. And I thought I'd just share with you, like, that's crazy that we have studies out there that are showing this kind of data. And it's, it's just, I mean, that how do you eradicate um, and get rid of um, a whole uh, population? Well, if you're not getting... Now, you know, people, of course, they'll they'll do, like, you know, go to a sperm bank or something like that. But if you're not doing that and you don't have a surrogate or something like that, that's how your human race goes away. Because you can't reproduce a woman and a woman or a man and a man. God intended it to be a man and a woman. That's the way he intended it. You can take it how you want it. But I'm just saying, for our youth right now to be in confusion and think one out of every five of them uh, like another sex... That's a problem for me, not in, not in the not in the way that it's a problem if they're homosexual. It's a problem for me is that our kids are confused and we're we are pushing that and saying, "Yep, this is perfect. This is perfectly all right. Go for it." It's not something just let me just try out life, and it's not like taking their first sip of beer. It's not the same. So, well, that's all I got for you today. Just see what y'all do with that. Random man out.